Good evening, everybody. Welcome How are to, you? Welcome to Happy Hour at the Cove. What's everyone doing out there this evening? I hope staying warm because yes, uh, hope so. We got snow last night, yes. and uh, plus it's like fifteen degrees out there right now. So <clears throat> Swamp Rat says he's getting ready for a little road trip tomorrow. Where are you going, Swamp Rat? So, yes. Hey, Don Relic Reaper. Hey, Relic Reaper. Welcome. Joe, Allie thanks Cat, for joining Treasures. us. Treasures, welcome. Yes, Joe Allie and Cat. Michigan Gems, welcome. We're going to hang out this evening. Corey, the Treasure Hunter. Several people waiting in the back room to come up. Uh, and uh, we got a special guest with us tonight. And uh, Lauren O'Reilly. Hello, Lauren. And we're going to do a little bit of a mail call. And yep. we're going to try to do a giveaway somehow this evening. We'll and probably do it the old fashioned we'll way. We'll be able to do it, pick a number at the end of the uh, stream. And what we're going to be giving away this evening, and I'm going to go hey, ahead and, and let everyone see it. And it is a John Wayne knife, commemorative knife, and it is still in the plastic. Hey, Tom Kingery, Miss Southern Bell. And it's a 10, and on the front of it, it's got John Wayne. And so we're going to be giving that away this evening. So. Someone really lucky is going to get that. So hope you all stick around. Uh, and if you don't that. have channel stickers, whoever wins it, we'll make yeah, sure we'll you get some, some stickers. stickers. And... Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, other than that, I think. Hey, Jim cool Steele. Little, cool little giveaway we'll be doing there. So, yep. Yeah. Thanks hey, for Jim. joining us, Heavy R. Garcia. Yes. Corey, and I've seen another name there. there. It just sort of boom, shot up there. And Jericho and Hercules. There's old Jericho welcome. and Hercules. Yes, welcome. You can't wait until Thursday. Well, what's Thursday, Jericho? What's going on Thursday? Yeah, what's going on on Thursday? <laughs> I think we'll probably be seeing them on Wednesday. All goes well. Let's right. see. There was someone that I wanted to say hello to. Well, you can see them in a bit when they yeah. really pop back up. We're going to start gonna bringing bring our guests up. Uh, first off, let's get these two boys up here. Oh, my God. Of course, always the... The rat. The the host with the co hostess. Co host with the most. Hey, Parkland. <laughs> Park rat. Hey, Park rat. What rat. up, everybody? And look who he's got next to him. He's got Jeffrey Brewer with him. That's right. They say birds of a feather flock together. That's it's it. it. <laughs> and I'm smoke angry, together and drink together. Right. It's pretty cool. Hey, Jamie with Country Diggers. Hey, and uh, we're going to bring our actually our. Special guest up next. Yeah. And this uh Christina with Christina Rogers History Saver. I'll get that right. Yes. <laughs> and hey, everybody. Christina is with her as well. Yes. Welcome. And her daughter. Welcome. And uh last but not least, we've got Bean and We've Pick. got special <laughs> guest Bean and Pick. Oh, but you know what? <laughs> I think it's just about beyond the guest portion. They're family, family now. Yes. They're right up there with Brewers and Park Rat Pat. Yep. They yeah, they are. Hey, Rocky Mountain Life. Hey, another Robert Clark in the house. We got Robert Clark number one. Two Robert Clark. And then Rocky Mountain Life is Robert Clark. And if Florida Thunder Dinner with Rob was with us, there'd be a third Robert Clark. He'll probably be along in a little bit. They just got home from the trip themselves. So. A little time to wind down, but I imagine they'll be here. I'm sure they'll be in. Yeah. Well, uh, Melissa, I think Melissa has a little mail call, and I do too. So you want me to go first, or you want to go? I'm first? I'm going to let you go first, and well, I'm going to hand you your stuff here. All and, right. Uh, her mail call is going to be going out to. Guess who my mail call is going out to? Uh, Team uh, Landon. Uh, uh, okay, guys. And Melissa got from me a specially made. Now, is this my mail call or yours? Well, <laughs> it's a female call. <laughs> Absolutely, because I need center stage here. Because look at here, what I have got on. I can do this right. There you go. Team Clembeck. Cover for life. Cover for life. And there is their number. It is 78. And then on the back, it says. 
we're not steam, we're fried. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a good luck wheat penny as well. <laughs> and I am going to keep that in my fines pouch for good luck. Robert said, oh, no, you don't want to do that. You'll lose it. But I ain't going to lose it. Well, she loses it. I'll find it. That's so. right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a pretty card. It says, hello, Melissa. I hope this package brings you as much joy as I had making it. I coated the painting with Mod, Mod Podge to help seal it in mm -hmm. hopes that the paint doesn't peel off as I use more paint on darker shirts so they stand out. Thank you both for your support of our channel, but more importantly, your friendship. We will see you on the next Cover Signal. Love, Bean yeah. Team Clam Bake. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes. yes. And that is correct. Friendship. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And, and welcome, <clears throat> J-Man with Metal Sharks. Oh, do we have J-Man? Joe and... What is that? JC down, down in, in Georgia. Georgia. Thanks welcome. for joining us. Crystal and Crystal Lynn Melby. Melby. Welcome. And I have a little Don um, Williams. I have a uh, mail call that I did. A, I'm doing a sticker swap. I've got to get his stickers out to him. Yeah. And that is Can Do Veteran. And if you're all not familiar with Can Do Veteran, get over and check his channel out. Man, he does some awesome uh woodworking <laughs> and flags and stuff and over at a uh, bar over at jp's bar he did an awesome uh, flag for them that they keep hanging in the bar and yep. uh, yeah so yeah go check out can do better and i wanted to thank him for those stickers and uh, he did send a little card it just said thank you for doing a sticker swap can do better so thank you and uh like i said if you're all not familiar with that channel Go check him out. He'd appreciate that. Yeah. And Definitely. I hope we have said hello to everyone that yeah. is with us yeah. this evening. Yeah. If we've missed anyone, we don't mean to. Just bring it to our attention and we'll give you a, a big hello. Um, well, let's get into uh, our guest tonight. Let's do. Let's get into our guest. Because it's about Christina tonight. It's about Christina so, Rogers, yes. history oh, saver. I see JP Lonza Moore. Is joining us. Yes. Hey, Let's JP. Go. Uh, Christine, uh, okay, I'm going to start off with the first question. I'm sure a lot of people might want to know, uh, how long have you all been metal detecting? I've actually been metal detecting for about 10 years now. Wow. Wow. Okay. What, what, yeah. got you, what got you interested? Um, actually, when my dad had made his garden 10 years ago, I actually found a, uh, a little piece of like a uh, a plate, and then I started to find nails, and then I was like, "Oh, I'm hooked." <laughs> <laughs> and that was before, and that was before metal detector. And then when I actually got one, I started finding more and more stuff. What was your first detector you had? I don't even remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you using now? I am using. I'm using two. One is a Garrett. Ace 400, and then um, my newest one is the Gear AT Max. Okay, yeah. we started out with the uh, Ace 200, yeah, and uh, then moved up with the AT Pro, which Melissa uses, and I use the Apex now, which I, I love it to death. I mean, I do, I love that little machine to death. It, it does great for me, it, it seems to be, you know, I cannot complain, and I mean, I can't, I cannot complain, I, you know, yeah, about it. So what type of pinpointer do you use, Christina? Uh, the Garrett, the the carrot, the, the, yeah, the get. Right. Yeah. That's pretty <laughs> much what everyone seems to. Uh, hey, Frankie. Seems to use as the Garrett carrot. But we did a show. Uh, oh, that was what we was talking about last. Was that last week or a week before? We week talking, before. We did the show on. Uh, last week was how to clean fines without breaking. Yeah, without breaking. <laughs> that was going to be one of my questions of this have you ever found a a uh, fine that was really nice or something and you broke it or destroyed it trying to clean it <laughs> yeah just even just uh getting the dirt off of it i actually broke a uh uh what was it oh it was a it was a heart it was a copper heart and i broke the bottom of it trying to clean it it happens, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, Moto Mike. I've, I've got a video, <laughs> video coming out soon where um, 
I, I find it's like, I think it's a, it's either a miner's tag or it's a tool tag mm-hmm. and I'm filming it as I'm cleaning it, I break it right on camera. <laughs> so it's like, Oh, because I've only found like two. And so, yeah, so we did a show about that because it happens <laughs> to the best of us. <laughs> yeah, it happens. For us, it was what, our first our large scent we found? Yes, we rubbed the face right off. And then after we got to see it nicely and everything, we were yeah. trying to clean it. Uh, Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. I mean, it it just part just of one it, of those things. Part it's of part of metal, metal detecting. detecting. Yeah. Yes, it is. We're learning. We're learning. Yeah. <laughs> we're learning the hard way, but we're learning. <laughs> I see Moto mining. He said he broke a dog tag pushing too hard with a toothbrush. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some things are just really brittle, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be doing this. Now, Christina, uh, what has been your favorite find so far? Um, um, that has to be a tough one. Um, my I have two. One I found like three years ago. It's a Morgan Dollar, a 1921 D Morgan nice. Dollar. And then that was my ever very first silver coin that I ever found, and it was a Morgan Dollar. That wow. would be nice. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what and, is, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, and then in December, I actually found my very first seated quarter. So, what? wow. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. That would have been exciting. I cried. Did you? I think so. I, I probably would too. <laughs> I've only found two silver dimes. And they've both been rosies. Oh, I'm thankful for them. But that that's all nice. that's all I found so far. Well, you've got the George Washington silver. Well, I got the quarter. quarter. I forgot yes. about my quarter over there Down in the, the penny pink. park. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. That now, counts. I, I have found since we've been detecting, which is just three years this month. Yeah. I have found three wing liberties. Uh what? maybe two, three rosies at the most. Uh, I've never found a silver GW, but I have found a barber quarter and a standing Liberty quarter. So, yeah. It's, uh, I, I want to find the, the standard one. Liberty and we have the George Washington. I, w- I want to find a Benjamin, a silver Benji, mm-hmm. Benjamin Franklin half dollar. That is one of my top bucket listers. Uh, yeah, if someone I don't know who mods I have in uh we need someone someone to drop. drop Christina's link so you all can go over there and sub to her. She is see, I think you all are what like at 256 subs, something like yep. that. So let's get her subs up tonight, guys. I mean, come on, get over there and uh <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, look and, who uh, is in the house. We there. attract a crowd. Looky oh there, digging goodness. it back. Charlie is here. Hello, Charlie. Welcome. Yes. And uh, so where was we at? We were talking about well, fines. I, uh, ooh, I think Marlon is going to post some links. Yeah. I see he's put Team Clam Bank up. Yeah. Thanks, Marlon. Yeah. But yeah, everyone go over and show Thanks, Chris Marlon. Marlon. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. And let's get her some uh, subs going. Tonight, yep. Get her some numbers up. Oh, there's old Danny Boy, Boy just to dig in. Thanks Welcome for joining Dan. us, Dan Thanks Anderson. For joining Dan. But let's get Christina's subs up this evening. We've, we've got 24 people in here, and several of them are covers. Yeah, and I know they can. So I'm depending on our covers to, to go over, over and give Christina Rogers Dan, history signature. I know, love. I know there'll be people watching this later. So for yeah. you all in the future that's going to be watching this, go over and sub to Christina's channel. Yes. <laughs> Red yes. Rover, Red Rover, send the covers over. That's right. And be sure and tell them that Clark's Code, Code Detecting, Detecting sent you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now back to Christina. Uh, what is your uh, one of your main bucket listers you want to find? Um, I already. What was it? It was uh, 2020, and this was right before I started doing my videos and I found 
my very first 1700s coin, a wow. British half penny. And very so nice. now it is finding, besides, of course, the gold coin, um, I think my goal is to try to find a... Um, <laughs> find a Spanish silver. Yeah. yeah. That would be nice. We have all three Robert Clarks here now. Yeah. Yes, we, we do. Three Robert Clarks. <laughs> 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 oh, David, welcome. Yes. Yeah. yeah I, in fact, I have um, in Monday night's uh, premiere I'm putting on, I have a top bucket list or find in in that video that I've always wanted to find since we've been started metal detecting. Yeah. So I finally found one. So I think everybody will enjoy our little mini series we got <laughs> coming out. That's what yeah. I'm referring to it. As so on Monday evenings, site. you all probably got the uh, reminder. Monday evenings, we're going to be premiering the next five videos of some home sites. And it's something different The Clark's Cove. Yeah, it has done. Usually you see us, we're just park hunters. Yeah, top lots. Top and, lots but, but, you know, to get to see us out in the field, actually, <laughs> doing some relic hunting. It's, I love finding the relics. We hit a couple of fields yesterday, and, and for me and Rob and Charlie, it was all of our first time actually being in a plowed farm field, you know. Now, the general... He hunts places like that all the time, and he was gone like lightning. Yeah. <laughs> he knows how to walk the rows and, you know, do what he's got to do to get everything. But the rest of us were stumbling around with, like, I'm going to get mud on my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think there is a question here for Christina. Ooh. I've got, yeah. Um Mrs. JP and the Bulldog. She's no cover number one hundred two. No money, no object. Where would you want to hunt? Wait, what? Where would you? I get. I guess what she means. If you had any place in the world to hunt, where would you like to hunt? Oh, uh, I don't know. I live up in Maine, so. Oh, um, where in Maine are you from? Um, I'm. Just a half hour out of Augusta. Okay. I I grew up in Dover Foxcroft. Oh yeah. About, about 50 miles below Bangor. Swinging. But yeah, I got a few places there that I would <laughs> love to go back and hunt now that I know how to metal detect. How close, <laughs> yeah. how close are you to Bucksport? I don't know. I would have to look. <laughs> um I have my great grandmother's old address still. And I look at the house down on the maps. And when I was about seven or eight, me and my brother, she gave us one of her metal recipe boxes and we filled it with all our junk and covered it with several rolls of tape and buried it in her backyard. And I know where it is, but I've just not been able to get to Maine to get it. <laughs> so if you ever find yourself traveling over in that direction, hit me up and I'll hook you up with the address. And there's a definite find out there. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think if i had a place i would could if they said you have i don't care if it was just an hour it would be the white house lawn <laughs> yes i mean yes. seriously yes yeah <laughs> what about you all being a pick where would you all like to hunt if you had my choice i think i want to try central park central park if yeah. you could which you yeah. can't. Which it's illegal, yes. Yeah. Very illegal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be, yeah. yeah. What about you, Pat? Over the years. I would probably want to go around like a monument. Like maybe close in at the base of Mount Rushmore or or around the big obelisk that you see in the reflecting pond you know, in, in D.C. or someplace like that. Because, I mean, these places and things were built a long time ago, you know, and there were workers all over the place at Mount Rushmore. There's got to be stuff lost up there you know. beyond the fence where they won't let you go. Very yeah. true. Very true. That would uh, definitely be cool. 
since. You know, Moto Mining says Buckingham yeah, Palace. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice thought too. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere over the pond, your, as far as that yeah, goes, send me. There, I'll man. try it. Cocos Island, Costa Rica is up there. <laughs> never, I don't know where, never heard of it, but. DF Digger, thanks for joining yes. us. He's in Maine. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. What yep. is probably your, hey, you could say your most um, peculiar find you found or odd, strange find? Strange. Do you? Hmm. Yeah, buddy. A strange find. That's a good question. <laughs> hey, Texas brother, how are you? Um, yeah, we threw back yeah, into yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna go with that. Don't know. Don't know. Dd Sand Digger says Fort Knox, just twenty minutes. <laughs> wow. I know uh, Melissa. She uh, she found a, and that was back in what 2020, right before uh, the pandemic started in March. Uh, we had been hunting a little park over in Ohio and she found this little object and the next day I was cleaning on it, trying to figure out what it was. And it's a little bitty urn with someone's ashes in it. And it says Madeline on the bottom of it. Yeah. And she's sitting right up there right now. And <laughs> we, did a, we did a video for uh, uh, digging with Deej for Halloween because I told Melissa, I said, and this is my exact words <clears throat> when we found it, when she found that and I cleaned it up and we knew what it was. I said, if things start going crazy, I said, it's because you found that. And it wasn't a week. I swear it wasn't a week that the pandemic, you know, all the COVID, the pandemic broke. <laughs> People were blaming us for it. <laughs> yeah, they said, oh, no, what, what did you what did do? You do? <laughs> <laughs> and they ain't been right since. It ain't been right since. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. That. That's. Yeah. Yeah. A bean pick. You all found anything really strange? Uh, yeah, we found something similar to that, like a juju bottle on the beach somewhere <laughs> buried. It, it had notes in it and roots and, and, and yeah, uh, it had stuff metal in, around it, and it and, sealed in wax and um. Yeah, I said. No, he found it in the sand, but we threw it in the harbor part over at the beach where Take we didn't want sea. anybody else to be like us and be like, hey, yeah, what did we find in practice wax open? Because you don't know if its intent is good or not. So we said, yeah. hey, this is freaking cool. and Thank you. And we actually brought it home, but we brought it back like the next weekend. It stayed on the porch for a week because <laughs> I didn't want to bring it in. Wasn't coming in the house, and, you know, and it have a dog die or something. So yeah, we left it out on the porch, and then we threw it back in the ocean and said a prayer, and yeah, everything's been good. <laughs> I've, I've seen detectors dig up jars with all kinds of crazy stuff in them. I mean, like voodoo yeah. stuff and little right, dogs. Right, right. And, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> it even had the three moon um, little design. Yeah, well, that's what rang up it. around it. Was yeah, the that's chain what. Around it that was, yeah. Put a little emblem and stuff on it. Usually like, the yeah. three moons is like a Wiccan type thing. So oh, it was definitely okay, some type of wish. Whether it was good or bad, we don't know. So that's why we chucked it. Right. <laughs> you never know. Well, Chris, I think like just a couple more questions and. Um, you go. Go I've got one. Where do you see yourself over the next five years? Hey, Paul. <laughs> right, right where I am. I mean, <laughs> mail detecting. Uh, I would like to go out to Pennsylvania and try to mail detect over there, but right, yeah, they seem to find a lot of stuff over there. Um, I've got a question. Uh, did you when when you started your channel? Did you have any influences, or you just ah, wanted to question. just wanted to start Ooh. it just or the Hoover Boys and Hoover uh, Boys. Jason from Quarter Hoarder? Nice, nice, cool. Yeah. yeah, I was like, eh, this looks like it would be fun. 
Let's just go. <laughs> this guy right here is mine. We're starting my my channel is Park Rat Pat. Oh, yeah. Yes, with a smile. <laughs> yep. he, he was my, an influencer. Yeah. My, <laughs> you get a badge. When we started our channel, yes. He, he was always so positive. We'd always go, started watching him, and he, I just loved his, how positive he is in his videos. Hey, Olin. And I did a, I don't know if you are familiar with my other channel, Joe Bob Break, but <laughs> he, Joe Bob did a thing about, Pat, you know, and I said he could find a toe and make you happy. He found that toe <laughs> 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 because he does. He, he's just he he always keeps you positive. I mean, he, I, I, I appreciate hearing that too. It's like you know that's why we do what we do is so other people can have enjoyment, and we want to share our happiness and and to know that you've affected someone that way. I mean. To this level, you know, is is incredible. But even if even if you're just, you know, infecting somebody with a, they're just like us. We can do this. We can metal detect. You know, just get them started. Even if they're not trying to be YouTubers, you know, if they're metal detecting and they're coming in and hanging out and being part of the community, their lives are going to be richer and fuller because of awesome people like you guys here and all the wonderful folks that are down there in the comments and the live chats right now. I mean, the more people we can bring into this family, the better off we are. And having a happy attitude uh, seems to be getting it done. So I think there's a really good group of people going here. And, you know, we've just got all of us the potential to affect the world in such an awesome, positive way. And yeah, you'll hear me swear in my next video, but it was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Is Rob still Whoopsie. in the chat? Hey, Rob, if you're still in the chat, I'm going to put the link up for you. For Rob, if he's, in, Rob, the, if he's in the chat. FL Thunder Digging, if he's still in here. Bubba! Hey, metal technology. Okay. Well, Christina, if you want to just kind of hang out and listen, we're going to yeah, talk to Bean and Pick a little bit. It, it's and, now just basically whatever you want to talk about. And, yeah. Yeah. If we can get Rob up here, we'll try to maybe see if he would do us a uh, duck race real a quick. A duck race, absolutely. And if not, we'll do this other, we'll do something else and yep. give this uh, knife away and but yeah, otherwise, right now it's just open. <laughs> but being and pick, open mic, mate. How long have you guys been detecting? Since what? Just before twenty twenty. Uh, actually, it started in COVID, but I, I, right around Mother's Day, I think, is when we hey, actually posted our first video, hey, which is hey, pretty funny. <laughs> pretty funny how we've grown over time. How our videos have. <laughs> more from something you would find in somebody's attic, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> yeah. Like, let's get rid of those. <laughs> but, yeah, it started during COVID, I think, when you weren't supposed to go and hang out with your friends anymore, and I always brought my camera wherever we went anyways, and took pictures of, you know, live wildlife and stuff like that, and uh, I just said, hey, man, why don't we just upload what we do? And he's like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. and, and Team Quibig <laughs> was formed during a session. <laughs> should be prospecting. Welcome. I know when, uh, we, of course, we started our channel in, uh, oh, we got not our channel, but we started metal detecting in uh, March <laughs> of 19. We started the channel in December of 19. Then I know when COVID hit in March of 2020, we were like, you know, I figured, well, it's all over, you know, channels over, everything's over. I was thankful that our governor told us basically you can still get out in your parks, exercise, still just get out and do just practice the social distancing and Hey, if it hadn't been for metal detecting and, and and the fact that the stream yard started and the Zoom chat stuff started, it helped get us through a lot of tough times just to be able to cope with it going on and being able to talk to other people and uh, hear their stories of what they were going through through it all. And 
Hey, it's been a great thing. It has. I see Rob is trying yeah, to join trying us. To. We'll get him up here. <laughs> yep. But yeah, I've had a passion for it my whole life. I think I just never had a machine. I've always wanted the metal detect in. We never did it until she mentioned it one day, and I was like, well, we have the means now. Let's give it a try. We tried it out. We did the bounty on her, you know, which was a decent machine. We found an Indian had Benny with it, you know, right off the bat. So our oldest one, actually. Rob! No, hey, Rob. Yeah. hey, Rob. I know. My, big, I have the, my biggest regret is my dad was a – he metal detected, and I never got involved. And then we wait – we wait till we're fifty years old. <laughs> and it's exactly. Metal <laughs> hey Rob, can you do a duck race, race for, for us? us? If you right. don't want to, that's fine. But we'd appreciate. Okay, it. we appreciate. I'm it. still, I'm still on my dirty uh, detecting gear. <laughs> that's okay. That's you know, okay. We still love you. We'll forget. Hey, you. hey Pat, did you hear? Did Charlie tell you the story? Uh, no, the general had told me. We, I, we left the hotel and we drove around uh, that neighborhood of Mindy's kind of close and I door knocked on a 23 corner lot and the lady said, sure, you guys go for it. And we were metal detecting and this neighbor walking by started talking to Charlie and, and the guy said his wife lost her gold ring in the backyard the other day. So Charlie said we'd come over and do their yard and we finished the one we had. So we let the lady know we were leaving her yard and, uh, and we went over to these people's yard and then the guy informed us that it was actually his little two and a half year old daughter that lost her little baby gold ring off her finger when she was gardening in the backyard. I know, Aww. I know it was so sad. Mm. And a little girl comes out and she's pointing at the little bushes, my ring. And she's just, she was just adorable. And the guy had brought a uh, simplex home from work because they had one at work that they used to find nails. And, uh, but he had no idea how to use it. So the three of us started doing their backyard and, and, and I was doing the edges of the flower beds. And I guess Charlie went right down the middle and he got a, a, a six. He got a six on the knocks, which is a which is a gold ring. And Charlie moved a couple leaves on the ground. And there's that little teeny, teeny, teeny little gold ring. And uh, we started filming and the little girl came over and she picked it up out of the grass and she put it on her little finger. And she was so happy. The parents are practically crying. And uh, and then he owned the 20s house next door. And they told us we could go out the 20s house next door. And we just finished up our day, Pat, with a really, it was just a great way to finish finish the weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that is awesome. Awesome. So, Gold Ring Recovery in Tallahassee today. And that is another wonderful Yay. thing about this hobby, is being able to return things. Is seeing that joy on people. <laughs> hey, I've never returned a ring. I've never returned a ring for a two and a half year old before. So <laughs> <laughs> that may be a first. It was. And Charlie goes, and that'll be our furthest ring recovery we've ever done. I said, it is for me. <laughs> hey, Bean and Pick, what machine do you all swing? I know we watch your videos, but we're interviewing as well. So people that may uh, uh, may uh, not uh, know no. you, that way they they can. Find out some more about you. We both swing a Mind Lab product. I use the Vancouver 440, which is very, very lightweight. Anybody that has osteoarthritis or limitations, that is like sweeping a broom, you know? So it's very lightweight. That's why I love it. But it also works great. It's like a Knox light, which is what he uses. I had the 800. I've been using that for a little over a year now. He started off with the bounty hunter. And when I knew that he actually was into the hobby, that's when we got the knocks. Forrest, Christina's, and uh, Pat. And I think Marlon has already done Christina. And those of you that are not familiar with uh, being a pick with Team Clambake, someone post their link. I think Marlon has. But if he can do it again, it would be great. And go over and give Team Clambake some love this evening. Let's get some of their subs up. Let's see if we can get them at least. Oh, we've got 32 people in here. Okay. Let's at least get them 10 to 15 subs this evening, if not more. So yes. everyone go over and give them some love. I know they can. Yeah. We love being the love. <laughs> <laughs> Just Where do you guys see yourself? Right 
team plan bake in the next five years? What do you see you guys? Do you have any special places that you want to go or something special that you're really looking for? Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. No, we still see anything great happening, but we want to be detecting still. I hope. And like I said, we're expanding ourselves this year. We're, we're going to be in Vermont and upper New Hampshire, which are a lot older places. And what we've been nice, nice. We're find some real but nice still relics. would love the opportunity to meet a lot of you guys, you know, in the flesh. That'll be coming uh, soon. You know, that, that would be awesome too. Regardless of whether we metal detect or magnet fit, I met know, him like a Disney. big barbecue or camping out type thing, you know, and just hang Super out. Super nice guy. And, you know, just hang out like like you are with your family and stuff like that. Because that's what we are. Right we now, are the same. Thing. <laughs> I do a lot of that. See, I got pork rat Pat right here with me. So, I, and I've had. They seem to migrate you down there. You know? I know, you know? right? We're going to migrate that way eventually. You can see magical stuff happening. Yeah, I've had the uh, treasure vixens here. I've had the JPs here and the Bulldogs. And the Clarks. The Clarks, you know, I mean. Swifty, you think, too? (laughs) No, I haven't had Swifty come down yet. Hoping to do that. Oh, he's just, like, close by, right? Yeah, he's not far. He's in my same state, so. Right. Cool. But well, yeah. Jeff, since you're speaking there a little bit, why don't you tell, tell everybody a little bit channel. about your channel, what you've got going on? <laughs> well, over at Brewers Prospecting, you hey, know, Patty. Uh, we've just released a few videos. I say we, and that's all me. <laughs> 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 but anyways, um, hey, I've got do? to go out on a magnet fishing trip like with the Treasure Vixens. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, we also went and the JPs, of course. Um, then I took them to the waterfalls, which was mm-hmm. a, uh, a rough trip for everybody. That was um, a lot of them might not have seen the waterfalls. Um, is an area close here to it's ten minutes away, really drive. Yeah, <laughs> an hour hike. <laughs> yeah, but a ten minute drive. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the part you forget to tell place. them about. <laughs> He's actually put that on these big bags that he has, and it, it looks beautiful as, as a picture. I've got a few of them signed, and they will be going into the Advent giveaways. So Ooh. some of y'all can be looking forward to getting that awesome piece. That's a beautiful photo. And a, I could I, probably pull one up here. Um, that, that might make for a duck race prize. Hey, I, that sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just to remind fun. everyone that's popping in out there that's getting in Let's on this make duck race. Big. Uh, Let me, uh, oh, just make oh, hang on. I forgot I'm supposed to be working on that. How do I do that? Do yeah. what, Rob? I forgot I'm supposed to be working on that. Stand by. <laughs> Standing by. <laughs> yeah, stand by. I, I've, been, I've been getting caught up in the conversation here. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. That's that knife. Hey, heavy metal mama. Look at that. When you say the knife, my husband was looked at me straight in the in the eyes and said, "Me." (laughs) (laughs) He loves he 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 has a huge collection of knives. So, okay, Okay, that's cool. We want to wish you all luck in the race. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Everybody, uh, we'll be on here for another. Well, we'll we'll jet around nine, and everyone will head over (laughs) to Jamie's bar. Hang out over there and hang out with him. Oh, there's water here. Mrs. Jackie and the Bulldogs. Yeah, here's the waterfall. Yeah. That's close to Brewers. Isn't that beautiful? I think there people can get a good. We just needed to get light on it, right? Oh, the light in the back actually did it really well. Thank you, guys. And so that's a. Thirsty people out there. Yeah, that'll be one of the duck race prizes. Have you been there yet, Pat? Heavy. Uh, no, but we do plan on going. All right. All right. Who well, we maybe are? when we come down to we Brewers lost. in, well, we're thinking probably April, we lost somebody. Christina. Christina. I hope I didn't knock her out. I hope you didn't either. <laughs> Was you punching, <laughs> sticking you, your finger in a hole well, or you something? Know, you see me flip up, so I hope I didn't. If she did, no, there she is. So I love it when stuff like that happens. <laughs> and I know it's not my fault. I hit the wrong button. Sorry. 
I didn't know if I did that or not. No, that was me. It was my fault. I was, I was blaming Robert. Yeah, she's blaming me. <laughs> he's all the time fingering around here Wait. with something. He's like some kid. No, I was reading chat and then I hit the wrong button. We need a drink. It's easy to <laughs> I want to get some handcuffs out and handcuffing. Uh, we got some. <laughs> With little furry things around. <laughs> okay, they didn't need to hear all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh goodness. Gosh. Does anybody in chat have any questions, questions for, for Christina? Anybody, or for anybody. Or for it? Team Clam Bay? Yeah. Do. Jeff, Pat? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How has she been doing throughout the winter here? Is is she letting the snow and cold stop her? Or are you getting out there and doing some kind of history saving? I can't. I would normally would be going in the woods right now, but um, we've just had a really bad winter with freezing rain and just it freezing and unfreezing and yeah. all this stuff. The woods, the woods are too frozen right now. I can't even go out. Mm. You know, usually the uh, I've seen people in other videos. They'll like get an area they want for winter, and they'll they'll rake it full of leaves to help insulate the ground. Yeah, and then just come back and rake them back after and get get their dig on. And I thought that is smart. You know? Well, yeah, because the the leaves the leaves help um, protect the ground from yeah. the uh, frost. So, yeah. Yeah, Rocky Mountain, we have snow yeah, as we, well. We got about seven, eight inches last night of snow, but some of it melted off. So, we're about down to today, six so right now. Six now so. But it's supposed to be down to like 14, 13. So, it'll probably be 10 here. Usually, whatever the weather forecasts, we're about three degrees colder. <clears throat> What's your uh, temperature like there, Jeff, at Bristol? I think it's in the 20s right now. Is it? Wait, Bristol what? I'm sorry. Bristol, yeah. Virginia. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say Bristol, Maine. I was like, I'm so close to there. 717 detector. 717. 717. Yeah. We were supposed to do it last year, and I forget what happened. It didn't happen that day. But definitely. Definitely. Yep, just be cool. It is supposed to start warming up. Well, actually, tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be back up in, what, the 50s, 60s 50. tomorrow? 50s, yeah. Exactly, Jim Steele. Yo-yo weather. You are correct. I see Jamie says 70 to 20 and snow, 52 tomorrow in Alabama. Good. Yes, Corey, the chat is going oh, wild. Glad to see everyone joining tonight. Yes, we out appreciate y'all, all of you. Yep. We really appreciate each and every one of you. Any of the new people in here, maybe some names that we're not real familiar with, we really appreciate you guys stopping in and visiting us. And like I said, if anyone has any questions for... Our guests, uh, yep, Christina, Bean and Pick with Team Clam Bake. And, of course, there's Pat and Jeff and Rob, but, you know. Oh, well, yeah, of course, there's they're, Pat, Jeff, and Rob. They're just, part, they're just part of the guys, you know. They're part of the crew. <laughs> but yeah, we want to thank you yeah, for being a part of our stream tonight, coming up and uh, sharing a little bit of her channel with yes, us. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, no problem. I actually... Uh, I go on different streams on Mondays and stuff like that, but this is really fun. <laughs> we, we, we try to make. There's a really cool video. stream on Sunday mornings too. There, Christina. Oh uh, yes, exactly. Rob. Exactly, Rob's. Uh, Rob, if you can, with... if you can multitask by talking and typing, uh, <laughs> tell everybody what you've got going on. Yeah. In your. I'm a man. I'm not sure if I can do that. <laughs> I know Leonardo. <laughs> Sunday morning, tomorrow morning, nine a.m. Our Sunday morning live live stream over coffee. Um, and uh, Jeff will be here one more day, so General Diggle will be in the stream with me. Sweet. And uh, so we will be getting some more some more Roman stories from him. We gave away we gave away a Roman coin last week. 
So uh, we did three duck started. races. So they go all just New Hampshire. I rode. Oh, so, <laughs> sorry. If you get a chance, Miss Christina, we're on tomorrow morning at nine a.m. Okay. Hello. We would love to see you. Marlon goes on after that at what? At and Marlon follows me at eleven thirty. Yeah. That's right. Their videos. Yeah. And him and Tripwire always have an awesome. I think tomorrow we'll be able to make some of our Sunday people because the past two Sundays we've been detected. <laughs> Yeah. So we'll Tomorrow hey Malaysia good. metal detector. Welcome. Well, hey guys, we have got Depp Spader in the house. And let me tell you, he has been doing I don't know if you all like watching people digging oh, bottles. Yeah, they don't bottles. They, they're in bottles. they're in caves <laughs> underground and tunnels and those poison bottles. Yeah, he's been oh, yeah, very nice. I watch his I, don't know, I mean, I know what poison is, what? but why would they have poison in a bottle? What like was for, the yeah. only thing I can think of is to take someone out, but you know. <laughs> Depp Spader, I if do you always can have good weather. Here, type in the comments what if you know what they used the poison for back in the day. Yeah, I mean, they, they, change they, they dig holes you put bodies there. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it very maybe it didn't eat through the glass, but it ate through everything else. Oh, that, well, that would be acid. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Berks County <laughs> Metal Detecting is saying that Keystone History Hoarders is live 8 p.m. tomorrow night with special guest Gypsy <laughs> Jewels. Ooh, who's having Gypsy on? Keystone, Keystone History Hoarders tomorrow at cool. eight. Yep. Poison was medication, says Alley Cat. Hmm. They used it for mother in law, says Bill. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the dirt? <laughs> and Deb yeah. Spader says he wasn't sure, but some of the poisons are iodine. Ooh. And mercury, probably. Yeah. So and to make sure that you don't ingest it. Yep. Yeah, they only just used to give it to you to play with. Hey, Tripwire, thanks for joining <laughs> yeah. us. What's going on, diggers and diggettes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Straight up metal detector. Welcome. Thank Howdy. Thanks, Tripwire. Tripwire in the house. Trip yes, absolutely. The There's kind of a lull right now, guys. We're getting ready Trip to do a duck race. And so if we anyone in chat. Ross, we love the Bob Ross. Thanks, Ross Ross Trent. Man. Beautiful. Great finds. Welcome. Great Mike. finds. Yes. Thanks yeah, for joining us. Finds. We're about to have us. Uh... <laughs> whack, whack. Yeah, whack, whack. <laughs> whack, whack. I love you. Right, how many, how many we got in the chat? you tomorrow uh, holy and by missing you it will ruin holy his holy. week hey oh Trader man i can't Spiker. get in the chat welcome sorry <laughs> we are so glad to have you because you know they're not that far away from us you know right they're not not at all Like Alley Cat's saying it's stuff like treatments. Uh, I think it's done left. It's done went above. Oh. All right. How many we got in here now? Oh, I'm to 40, I'm okay. <laughs> how, how many, Rob? Trip wire. I'm, I'm for the 40. 40. All right. It's beautiful. Yeah. And everything else in the package. Oh. Uh, well, that's perfect because I got 39, not counting you guys because I didn't put you guys in. Yeah, yeah. don't put us in. Yeah. yeah. But everyone oh, else okay. knows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Whenever you get ready, Rob, you just tell me. And yeah. All right. I'm just ma I'm making sure I always forget to put Pat in when he's a co-host. Hey, Can Do Veteran, we just did a shout out for you, mail call for you a while ago when we started our our live stream. If I look spacey, it's because we got three different screens on the stream. <laughs> the big yes. screen behind the freaking selfie <laughs> stick kit and then the laptop. So, yeah, I don't know where to look. <laughs> you had to have us a. Uh... A bot pop in. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah, you know, it would feel wouldn't be a live stream without 
that I know, right? <laughs> Whatever they are. Yeah. So, Pat, Jeff, what you guys got planned for yeah, tomorrow? tomorrow. Uh, uh, getting my car to the shop. That's so, right. Pat, what happened? Oh, well, that sound it was making when I was riding with the general has just gotten worse and worse. And then when I, like, take a sharp turn, like on an on-ramp or something, then it goes away. And then it starts back <laughs> up again. So the mechanic guy met us here, was here waiting when I pulled up. And so gave, gave it, gave it a little assessment on what I said, but we're going to take it to the mm -hmm. shop in the morning and let him work. Like a tie rod or something? Yeah. Yeah. He said he thought maybe the, the bearings were, or the uh, axles. Axle bearings and the axle mm -hmm. needs to grease. Mm -hmm. Greased, yeah. So. Hopefully, I have axle bearings needing grease. That's yeah, that'd be okay. Yeah, well, yeah. as long as I haven't ruined things too much. All right, let me remember quack, how to do no. this, guys. Okie dokie. Quack, quack. All right, quack. <laughs> yeah. Rubber ducky. Rubber duckies. Yeah. Patty Dishroon says she is fixing to eat dinner with her granddaughter. Mm. We'll be back. Alrighty. You have a great evening too. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thank you, Can Do. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to do this duck race. Good luck, everybody. It's, Remember, it's there, that guys, if you can for, see it. Hold on, let me get this. That is for a knife. It is a John Wayne knife. Yeah, hold on. Let me uh re let me reshow this one last time. Yep. And those of you that may not have any stickers, we will throw some stickers in. Yep. But that's what oh that is awesome. Uh, oh, yeah, so <laughs> good luck, everybody. Good luck all. Let's see. Mm -hmm. good. All right, we're ready. Right, good luck. Johnny. Three, Three, two, <laughs> one. Johnny and quack quack. Good luck. Quack, quack. Make it bigger. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. That's the best I can do. All right, no. I get my gun. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> Don's laying my address. We've got that. your address, Don. Really got your address. Uh, so you get that okay. knife, you, okay. we got you Just covered. Yay, <laughs> 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 hey, park rats on the move. Treasure hunter. Go, go, go. go. Usually, usually by now, Park Rat's duck is long gone. Hmm. Hang on, buddy. You can't be a loose girl. Uh, 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 got several of them. Park Rat Pat's getting up there. Oh, 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 no. Go, 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 go. And there's Park Rat and Squeak. I see a John Pat knock. Park Rat's going out. Do it, Squeak. Go, 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 Okay, so he should be getting. He hey, should Bob. be getting. Let us know, Randy, when you get that. Yes. So, hey, Bob, <laughs> you guys ready? Hold, yeah. on. Yep. Hold on. I hear Pat oh, saying what? something. On, on this race, also, <laughs> we're going to put up one of Brewer's bags and it'll be autographed. Ooh. And stick uh, I in. love Brewer's bag. Okay. Me too. I meant congratulations. Sorry. 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 No, sorry. Sorry. I'll be quiet now. Okay. Quack, 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 qu
All right. Thanks, Randy. We knew yeah. you was a good sport with yeah. that. We knew yeah. you'd we knew understand. Three, two, one. Clack. Good luck. Good luck again, everyone. Where's my dog? Oh, my now? gosh, Joe. Where are you at? <laughs> I don't even see a duck for me. Papa Bill. Like Relic Reapers, he gave his <laughs> duck red. Come on, duck swim. Dig. Okay. okay. Dig. Oh, brother, just let him know. Save some for the end. Oh, uh, I need a shark fin. Oh, even with my glasses. All right. All right. <laughs> see? Come on, ducky. Ladies and gentlemen, dig, 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 one. We got a lot of them right there, neck and neck, or shall I say? Yeah, neck and neck. Or beak and beak. Beak and beak. Aren't you horny? Here comes the one in the tree. Randy again at the top. <laughs> oh, my goodness. See? It's okay, okay, man, there. Okay, man. Alley Cat. Uh, J Man and Corey's going to do neck and neck. Yeah. It's going to be J Man. No, it's not. It's going to be Olin Borden. Uh oh. No, it's not. Come, step spader. Oh, Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 here we go. Go, go, go Fanny. I think J Spader won the John Wayne Knight. Yes, he did. Congratulations. Congratulations. Nice. Awesome. And we have your address. We do have your address. Third and place. That's good for me. You yeah. will be receiving the John Wayne. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. And I think Pat and Jeff, or Jeff, did you say you were doing one of your bags of dirt, right? Yeah. Jeff, Jeff, we will bring you uh Depp Spader's address. We'll it. We'll it, it, you, it, but yeah, um, it wasn't a bag of dirt. It's it's a bag with a picture oh. of a waterfall on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the bag you can put your own dirt in. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a bag full of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I got some of my pockets in my jacket. <laughs> Dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. Ah, yes, congratulations, congratulations, Death Spader. Congratulations. So we will get that we'll out get that to you. Out. Well, very soon. within the next couple of weeks, hey, definitely. Hey, Iron yeah. Antler, thanks for joining Six us. To eight weeks. Yeah, in fact, we're <laughs> keeping, <laughs> we are Shipping going to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get ready and call this a happy hour. Yeah. It's time to go to the bar now and do yeah. some yeah. really. <laughs> Dennis Baker says this is the first duck race he has ever won. Oh, wow. Well, then congratulations. Well, nice. Nice. Yes, 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 I'm glad you got it here at Clark's Cove. Absolutely. And one, yes, we'll be getting that out to you real soon. Bro. We'll let you know when we get it in the mail. That yes. way you can be expecting it. Yes. Hey, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Yes, thank you so much mm -hmm. for doing that. I know you're tired. And I'm sure you're probably wanting to get cleaned up, so I'm going to pop you out of here first. But I, but I got coffee on, okay? So that's all that counts. Okay. That's good. Hey, we'll morning. see you in the morning, okay? See you in the morning, Rob. Yeah. Yeah, in the morning. yeah I'll see you. Yeah, and I'll see you guys Thanks, over at JT Bars for a little while. Okay. okay. okay cool. Nice. Christina, guess what? You're going to be Hi. next. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Yes, this thank you so much. We appreciate it a lot. Hey, Bucci Bonita, how are you? <laughs> and anyone out there that's not familiar with Christina, get over there, check out her channel, and give her some love and support. Yes. And, uh, that's Christina Rogers, Chris History, History Saver. Saver. Yes. <laughs> thanks, thanks for being a part of our show tonight, yes. Christina. Thanks, Christina. Thank you. You have a good weekend. Bye, Dana. You too. Bye. Bye. Team Clam Bay. Bay. Thank you for, for joining, joining us this evening. And those of hey, you... If you all want to hang out for a little bit, yep, just, just hang, hang out for a few minutes. Christina, yep. you as well. If you all want to hang out with, in, before we head over to the bar. Yep. So, yep. But we'll, we'll see, see everyone in chat later. Thank you guys for joining us. And we're Pat, heading over to JP's bar here in just a Pat, few moments. Pat and Jeff, always thanks for coming up and co-hosting. You know, we appreciate it. Oh, Hang yeah. out for a little bit. We'll we'll BS for a little bit in the back room. Yeah, that's cool. <sighs> oh, okay. <Whoa. laughs> 
All righty, everyone. Thanks for joining us at this happy hour. Uh, yes. We appreciate everyone stopping by. Yes, digologist, you can. It's been a great hour. Uh, we'll be back here next Saturday night. Yes. Same time, same place at the Cove and in the command center. And uh, and we will be premiering on Monday, Monday we evening. We have a premiere Monday starting at 6.30. the 1st of 5. At, at Eastern Standard Eastern Time. Eastern Standard Time, yes. So, yeah, y'all stop by there and uh, check out our premiere Monday night. It's going to be a good one. And I hate to dump everyone off at uh, 29 viewers, but we're going to be heading over to JP's Bar. You all come over there and hang out with us there. Thank we're going you, to be Alec. there having a good you time. You too, Depp's favorite. And we'll Thanks, see Owen. everyone hopefully over there. 717. Thank you all. Every last Frankie one Biden. of you for stopping by this yes, evening. You're all everyone. great. everyone. We love you all. Berks County and Lauren. Be careful out there. Stay warm yes. tonight. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you all on that next good. That next good what? Let Come me on. hear you say it. Y'all can say it out there. That next good cover, cover fine. fine. <laughs> Later, guys. Y'all have a great evening. Who is JP's bar? Is there a link? Asking oh. Berks Kennel. Just go to JP's Lawns and More. Yeah, JP's Lawns, Lawns and, and More. More. Go, just type that in YouTube because I probably I don't know if someone can post it real quick in there. Please. But do. that'll show you how to get to JP's bar. Yep. Night, everyone. See ya.